So in the booth, Chris Asmus, as always, our television right, match official. Yeah. We are ready to go. Time on. It is the league-leading New England Free Jacks in the dark jerseys kicking off, and this time they go. So really not an indication to us, but should be an early three points for the Free Jacks. Up go the flags, off the mark. And solid defense from the Arrows. Now they're on the rumble. Devita Sol has got his hands on it. The backs join. The scrum half's in. Everybody's in. Mitch Wilson from the blind wing. They're a meter short. The scrum half gets his hands on it. John Poland goes to the line, but he's short. New England Free Jacks threatening. They weren't held up, so they can go again. The ball's presented. You can see it at the back. The arrows looking to get low and chop. They do. The cheers come in. Referee's given the try on the spot. And it was the big man. I'm not sure if it was. Here's the man from Ballinori County Court. John Poland. He's got it. Just enough distance. A nice strike from him. A couple of free jacks off their feet beyond the ball. Let it go, Kyle. Let it go. Well presented Let it go. there. Rumble's got his hands on it. Foley's outside him. Oh, these are the battles. Brody hits Keith, who's a little bit flat footed and upright, but he's got it down. A little bit slow, this ball production. They miss out Quatrin and hit Detroit midfield. He's looking to the line, but he's brought back. An outstanding tackle from the Free Jacks midfield. Through for the moment. It is Andrew Quatrin. He has a nose for the line, this lad from Holland Landing, just about 30 minutes up the road from the stadium, and they'll be delighted to see this. He does have uh, a nose for the line. Look at that, great stuff. He had a brace a few weeks ago. This is probably a bigger try. Arrows were desperate for that. Well, I love the celebration too. It's like, we're back in this game, boys. Not the start we wanted, but does that help? 13 caps for Canada, I'm sure. Canadian head coach, Kinsey Jones, will be looking on. Happy with that kind of form. His decision by the captain, see Mike Shepard, just saying, hey, it takes a minute to kick. That's another, this is all running time against the Simbian. And the points are good. So just one point of difference here. Toronto, 10 points through the boot. Sam Malcolm. The possibility of a yellow card for repeated infringement against these men in red, the Free Jacks. Malcolm for the lead. Right foot, sweet strike. The crowd will tell you. In a must-win game, the Toronto Arrows have taken the lead here. 13 points to 11. And Quadrant's back on the field. Well, hopefully you haven't provided the commentator's curse saying he hasn't missed yet. But the man with the arrow number of number 10, that's his lifetime number, has the 10 jersey on now. He's swinging the right boot. He swung it sweetly. And the lead is extended. Three more points for the Arrows. And they were throwing great line-out ball. The possession is the key and territory. Territory indeed. We've got 40 minutes of MLR action here. <laughs> Toronto Arrows up by five. And that one's bobbled. What a start. And you sense the crowd are having their impact as well. Arrows throw in. Let's see what they can do. Inside the Free Jacks 22. They missed the target. They got a hand to it. Detroit gets it. He's untouched. It's going to be a try if there's no knock on. I think the referee's going to have a question. Chris, I'm coming up to you, mate, because I'm inside with bodies. They're being too deep. I think, if we, I think it might have been the Free Jacks player that knocked it. Let's see. Shepard's left hand we're looking at here. Side, Chris. Oh, it's off red. So that's not a knock on. What a turn up here at the beginning yep. of the second half. Yeah, even our referee I'm wants not to see clear, an clear touch from Toronto number five. Okay, so I'm going to stick with, stick with your on-field decision. decision. Yeah, yeah. Listen to this crowd. They'll let you know what they think. Giuseppe Dutoy adds to the lead for the Arrows. There's no clear goal. Just so great to see him on a rugby Time field. Back on. And some things are bigger than a result. So well done, sir. 
Great to see you back in the rugby circles. But right now it's Toronto Arrows trying to score against his New England Free Jacks. They're five meters out. The tank commander from PI is driving. He's urging. The legs are pumping. They're three meters out. It's stopped momentarily. The backs are trying to join. And now it's gone down. The ruck is formed. No, A17. Brody's looking to the short side. He goes wide. Flirting with the sideline. Time off. We're going to have time off and a bit of a discussion here. Time off. You've got a clear ground. Okay. So, Chris, we're going to come up to you, mate. On-field decision is try. Can we just double-check, please? Well, you heard it, fans. On-field decision is try. So, Chris asked Mr. TMO, we'll look for something, a foot in touch. Um, yeah, clear yeah, grounding is called. So I don't know if he can adjudicate on whether the ball was grounded or not. I suppose everything's alive in the tries. The magic up the sideline, Brian, what do you think? So tough to tell. With that... Is that right boot dragged over the white line before he gets the ball down? Okay. And he did ground it. His right red boot, I thought, may have been dragged over the line. Touching down there. Tough to say. Wow. Tell you what the arrows think. There's fists in the air. On-field decision is try. Luke, there appears to be no separation. Stick with your on-field decision. Okay, so no clear separation. There's no foot in touch. We're going to stick with on-field decision. Try. Thanks, mate. Wait for this chair, everyone. Had a pretty good job all night. We on it in the lineup. Of course, the free jacks back to full strength. Larson chest passes it out. No, flirting with the tail it's of the line out. The ball's gone backwards. Quick pick from the sub. They're all over him. Tackle roll! Tackle! Tackle complete. Quick pick from the line. It's Johnson battling away. He's brought down early. Again, the arrows just firing in like missiles at this stage. Seem to be over the line. Yes, it is. New England Free Jacks with their first points of the second half. Well, it's a bit like a seventh tournament here. The Neil Diamond is ringing out at York Lions Stadium. They're, they want to start the party. They got eight minutes before they can do that. And will there be another try to add to the three tally count? And a bonus point. Hood right in behind the scrum. I fancy him with a one on one battle. There goes the scrum. It's up. The arm is out. Two on one. Hood is wide. He dies for the corner. Gets it down, and the referee's going to have a look. The arrows think they've got it. They're going to come up to you as well, Chris, to the second. So much riding on this call. It's the fourth try. It's the bonus point. Are you happy to touch? I'm happy to touch. I've got a clear ground, but we'll just double check it, yeah? Chris, we're going to come up to you, mate. Uh, we're both happy with touch and grounding. Just double check for me, please. You heard it on the field. They're both happy with touch and that grounding from Matty Hood. On field decision try. Yeah, just want to double check. The on field decision is try. Thanks, is there any reason coming from our television match official why I can't be rewarded? Brian, I don't see it. How about you? No, I. The, the last one for Mirez in the other corner I thought was closer. This one looks good to me. I loved how they set that up. Hood right behind the scrum. He's, a, he's an Australian sevens player. The one-on-one -on -one battle, he'll take that all Thanks, day man. long with 10 meters. There is the whistle. The Toronto Arrows score their fourth try here. They've secured a bonus point regardless. But we're going to have a final line out. As everyone looks at the big screen to see if it'll reach 80. Time. time for line out. Let's go. Just take a step for me. Take a step for me, please. All of you. All of you. Take a step. I'm telling you to take a step. All this hard work. And how about the bench? The subs came on. Nick Rogers had to come on early in the Sydney Women's Award. He was impeccable. Last week's player of the week. That man, Faleba, has done well. Three Jackson to try and get one last five pointer. They offload and spill it. And the arrows will let you know what happened. It's a knock on. It's a victory. The Toronto Arrows are alive and kicking in 2022 in Major League Rugby. Side Toronto received the league leaders, New England Free Jacks, and put four tries up on the board, secure a bonus point victory, and put the pressure on Rugby Atlanta.
mission accomplished. I think the bonus point was gravy. After that first 10 minutes, it certainly uh, looked like uh, it might be a bridge too far, but uh, the arrows turned it around. It was a 23-man uh, performance.